We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good evening, everyone. And welcome to this uh, celebration of the Eucharist, a special moment for those who have made a long journey uh, from Ireland and from many other places to come to this place to worship. It is my first time, and it is happening on my birthday. A special thanks to God and to my parents who are now all gone and to the many friends I have met in my life because of the gift of faith. Why am I here today? A pilgrimage is a journey that pilgrims make to a place that is considered holy. Our presence here today is more than just traveling to an historical site and viewing religious relics. It is a journey with deeper and more spiritual meaning. It is a journey with a higher purpose, and that purpose is to honor God. There is so much to see, discover, and learn from different locations we will visit during our pilgrimage. But I also believe a rich and inner transformation will happen to each one of us as we spend time to pray, time to reflect, and to celebrate a Eucharist. And as we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins and ask God's forgiveness and strength. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I've done and what I've failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, pray for me to the Lord our God. The Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And let us pray, and we spend a moment to raise to the Lord those whom we are praying for this evening. Father, you have given us the mother of your son to be our mother also. Grant us that by obeying the appeals of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may always work through prayer and penance for the kingdom of Christ and attain eternal happiness. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unit of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the Apocalypse. I, John, saw a new heaven and a new earth. The first heaven and the first earth had disappeared now, and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city and the new Jerusalem coming down from God out of heaven as a beautiful bride all dressed for her husband. Then I heard a loud voice call from the throne, you see this city here, God lives along, among men. He will make his home among them. They shall be his people, and he will be their God. His name is God with them. He will wipe away all tears from their eyes. There will be no more death and no more mourning or sadness. The world of the past has gone. Then one sitting on the throne spoke, Now I'm making the whole of creation new. The word of the Lord. 
the Respiratorial Sam. You are the highest honour of our race. You are the highest honour of our race. May you be blessed, my daughter, by God most high, beyond all women on earth. And may the Lord God be blessed, the creator of heaven and earth. The trust you have shown shall not pass from the memories of men, but shall ever remind them of the power of God. God grant you always be held in honour and reward with blessings, since you did not consider your life when our nation was brought to its knees. You are the highest honour of our race. The Gospel Acclamation. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed are you, Virgin Mary, who believed that the promise made you by the Lord would be fulfilled. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Near the cross of Jesus stood his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary of Magdala. Seeing his mother and the disciple he loved standing near her, Jesus said to his mother, Woman, this is your son. Then to this, the disciple he said, This is your mother. And from that moment, the disciples made a place for her in his home, the gospel of the Lord. Pope Francis says, making a pilgrimage to a shrine is one of the most eloquent expression of the faith of God's people. It would be a mistake to think that those who go on a pilgrimage live a spirituality that is not personal, but rather of masses. The reality is that the pilgrim carries within him or her his or her own story, history, and faith, and, faith, and the lights and shadows of his or her life. Each person carries with his or her heart a special wish and a particular prayer, those who enter the shrine immediately feel they are at home, welcomed, understood, and supported. Clearly, a pilgrimage is not a break from responsibilities like a vacation. It is rather, it is rather a calling it reminds us of our responsibility to our faith as disciples of Jesus. On our pilgrimage, we encounter God in the very places where he has revealed himself. A pilgrimage is, a, is challenging. It takes us out of our comfort zone and can in, incorporate tedious travel or navigating uh, through difficult trains. It is a transformational experience that changes lives and brings us closer to our faith in ways we could never imagine through sincere and concentrated prayer. We begin our pilgrimage today by cele celebrating Mass of Our Lady of Fatima. Our Lady was sent by God to call us to believe and be faithful Especially when life seems difficult, she promises that my immaculate heart will triumph. The Fatima apparitions certainly have prophetic dimension that has 
has been proven to be true. She foretold that the church and the world will pass through difficult times, as indeed we can testify. So her teachings and revelations are to call us to see and understand. She tells us what should be more and more apparent. The world will not find peace until people turn, return to God, to her son, Jesus Christ. She gives us specific instructions. Pray, particularly the rosary every day, conversion and, pen, uh, conversion and penance, and acts of rep reparation for offenses against God and her immaculate heart. We are to understand that while there are so many ways that we should address the problems we face, the fundamental crisis our world faces is spiritual, and so our response must be, in the first place, spiritual. She calls us to listen to our son, who is the way, the truth, and the life, and follow him. Fatima is fundamentally a great message of hope. Our Lady promised that she will be with us, especially in hard times, guiding us. There are so many times in my life I have called Our Lady in times that I could, no, I could not see light, but in the process of calling Our Lady, the light has shone itself and I've seen the way. However, the question is, when will the human community listen and respond? She promises in the end, my immaculate heart will triumph. A spiritual renewal will happen. What St. John Paul II called a springtime of the Holy Spirit. When will it happen? What will it take? It will start in our own hearts and homes. It will spread through our Christian communities, taking our Lord's message to heart. The family that prays together stays together. And now in faith, we raise and present our prayers to the Lord. Here at this sacred spot where the Most Holy Virgin Mary appeared, let us present our prayers to God our Father who gave us the mother of his son to be our mother. For all the faithful, that thy obe by obeying the appeals of Mary in the spirit of true repentance and prayer, they may work wholeheartedly for the renewal of the world and for the kingdom of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord for those who exercise sacred ministry in the church, that they may be attentive to the word of God, love it and proclaim it with fidelity and enthusiasm, as Mary did, we pray to the Lord. Lord for those who govern nations, that they may work for justice and peace in the world, and harmoniously collaborate in the just distribution of earthly goods among all the inhabitants of the world. We pray to the Lord. For those who suffer, that in union with Mary, consoler of the afflicted, in the loving care of others, and in the contemplation of the cross of Christ, they may find courage to face life. We pray to the Lord. For all of us here present and for our families, for our nation, for our city, that by the intercession of Mary, those who seek Christ may find him. Sinners may be converted. Young people may open their hearts with enthusiasm to the gospel. We pray to the Lord.
We take a moment to pray for those whom we have promised our prayers. We pray to the Lord. God of infinite goodness, attentive to the supplication of your people, and with the prayers of Mary, mother of your son, and mother of the church, to help us listen to our pleas and increase our faith, we ask this through Jesus Christ, your Son, in the unit of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Said are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. And we pray together that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, we offer you these gifts of preparation and of praise so that in celebrating this feast of the Blessed Virgin Mary, you may absolve us from our sins and guide our wavering hearts we ask this in the name of Jesus, the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do all well always and everywhere to give you thanks as we celebrate the feast of the Blessed Virgin Mary and praise you for your gift. She, receiving your word in her immaculate heart, merited to conceive him in her virginal womb, and in giving birth to the creator of the world, she prepared the birth of the church. She, in receiving at the foot of the cross the testament of divine charity, received all men as her children, born to eternal life through the death of Christ. So when the apostles were awaiting the coming of the Holy Spirit, she promised to one, united her supplications to the prayers of the disciples, and thus became the model of the suppliant church. She then finally elevated to the glory of, her, of heaven, surrounds with her maternal love the pilgrim church, and lovingly directs their steps to the heavenly dwelling place until the glorious coming of the Lord. And so with all the angels and saints, we proclaim your glory and join in the unending hymn of praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed. 
the fount of the fountain of all, all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before he was given up to death, a death he freely accepted, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. Again, when supper was ended, he took the cup. Again he gave you thanks and praise, gave the cup to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. In memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this life giving bread, this saving cup. We thank you for counting out, worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. May all of us who share in the body and blood of Christ be brought together in the unit by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and make us grow in love together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have gone to their rest in the hope of rising again. Bring them and all the departed into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all, we pray, Make us worthy to share eternal life with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with the apostles, and with all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages. May we praise you in union with them and give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, in the unit of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Lord, our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, and protect us, protect us from all anxiety. As we await, we wait in joyful hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life.
O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all Let us pray. Lord, having received with joy these heavenly sacraments, grant us, we pray, that they may lead us to eternal life, where we may rejoice forever with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of your Son and Mother of the Church. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. As is ended, we go forth to love and to serve the Lord. <laughs>